Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. L'audience est ouverte. La parole va être rendue à l'accusation. Celle-ci pourra continuer de présenter sa réponse aux objections présentées oralement par la défense. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Bon après-midi, Madame, Messieurs les juges. Nous allons continuer de répondre par terre aux objections de la défense. Avant la pause, j'en étais arrivé à la conclusion de la partie portant sur la pertinence. Nous disions que les questions ayant trait à la portée de l'entreprise criminelle commune ainsi que les preuves d'une attaque systématique et généralisée relevées du présent dossier. Et nous avons préconisé la prise en compte de documents factuels figurant dans notre liste relative à la première phase. Avant d'en terminer sur la pertinence, My colleague has indicated earlier the legal test for relevance. There isn't a great degree of difference here between us and the defense. There isn't a great degree of difference here between us and the defense. There isn't a great degree of difference here between us and the defense. There isn't a great degree of difference here between us and the defense. There isn't a great degree of difference here between us and the defense. There isn't a great degree of difference here between us and the defense. There isn't a great degree of difference here between us and the defense. There isn't a great degree of difference here between us and the defense. There isn't a great degree of difference here between us and the defense. There isn't a great degree of difference here between us and the defense. There isn't a great degree of difference here between us and the defense. There isn't a great degree of difference here between us and the defense. There isn't a great degree of difference here between us and the defense. There isn't a great degree of difference here between us and the defense. There isn't a great degree of difference here between us and the defense. There isn't a great degree of difference here between us and the defense. There isn't a great degree of Defense team submitted a general test of relevance, which appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this test appears to be, in general terms, again consistent with our understanding of the law. And this
Je vais à présent passer à la question des originaux, très brièvement. Comme l'a dit mon confrère, les juges se sont prononcés en disant qu'il n'y avait aucune prescription de produire un original pour que le document soit admis. Et dans la décision des juges, une préférence est accordée, certes, aux originaux. Mon confrère a attiré l'attention de chacun sur plusieurs documents qui sont au dossier et qui montrent le grand travail accompli par les juges d'instruction pour identifier, localiser et scanner des documents originaux. Je vais vous montrer certains un des documents pertinents ultérieurement dans le cadre de mes observations. Je dirais simplement, pour être complet, que les documents pertinents sont les suivants. D-161 portant sur la collecte des documents des archives nationales. Ensuite, le document ou plutôt trois documents qui concernent les documents du DCCAM et du musée de Tulsleng. Je vous donne les références. D248, D82 D82 et D159. Bien sûr, en examinant ces documents, Madame, Messieurs les juges, il faut également examiner les documents qui suivent chacune de ces séries. Il y a à chaque fois des documents qui ont été déposés montrant l'origine des documents, le point de savoir si les documents ont été examinés, scannés et il est indiqué le cas échéant, que les documents numérisés ont été versés au dossier. I will deal next with, uh, à présent, uh, j'en viens uh, objection, if I can call it that, à une autre uh, which objection I from thématique, en quelque sorte, qui a été soulevé par chacune des trois équipes de défense et qui concerne le prétendu critère concernant les actes et le comportement des accusés. Mes confrères de la partie adverse ont raison à un égard uniquement, à savoir que le critère relatif aux actes et au comportement des accusés s'applique uniquement à la recevabilité des déclarations écrites de témoins plutôt qu'aux dépositions orales. Ceci a fait l'objet d'un grand nombre d'écritures qui correspondent au code E96 et suivant. Dans notre demande E96 et documents suivants, nous avons fait référence à la jurisprudence. Et nous avons clairement montré que la jurisprudence des tribunaux internationaux s'était développée autour de la question de la recevabilité des déclarations de témoins. Et ici, très brièvement, je voudrais attirer l'attention des juges sur quelques décisions qui ont été rendues par la Chambre d'appel du TPI Y. Ces décisions viennent illustrer mon propos. Il y a aussi une décision du TPI R. L'expression « acte et comportement de l'accusé » se trouve à la règle 92 bis du règlement intérieur et de preuve du TPI-Y, comme le savent bien les juges, j'en suis certain. Et ceci concerne les différents types d'éléments de preuve, les types de preuves testimoniales susceptibles d'être admises sous la forme de transcription ou de déclaration de témoin. En gros, la position du TPI-Y est analogue à celle du présent tribunal. Il y a une règle générale en vertu de laquelle la preuve est libre à condition que chaque preuve présente certains indices fondamentaux de fiabilité. D'aucuns ont tenté de faire admettre en tant qu'élément de preuve des déclarations de témoins 
recueilli par des parties à la procédure. Au TPIY, bien sûr, c'est un modèle contradictoire qui est utilisé, à savoir que les preuves sont recueillies par les parties. D'aucuns ont donc tenté de déposer des éléments de preuves sous la porte en forme de déclarations de témoins recueillies par les parties. Et comme ces déclarations de témoins étaient considérées comme potentiellement dénuées de fiabilité, c'est la règle 92 bis qui a été adoptée afin de restreindre la possibilité d'admettre des déclarations de témoins. Mais l'intention n'a jamais été que cette règle s'applique à d'autres types de preuves. Je vais brièvement citer un passage de la décision rendue par la Chambre d'appel du TPI Y dans l'affaire du procureur contre Galic. GALIC, décision rendue le 7 juin 2002. Il y est question de la question de la recevabilité des déclarations de témoins. Et en gros, la Chambre, au paragraphe 31, a dit que la règle 92 bis était une lex spécialis en vertu de laquelle la recevabilité des déclarations de témoins et des transcriptions ne relevait pas du la portée de la lex généralis de la règle 92C. Or, à la règle 92C, la lex généralis est semblable à celle qui figure à 87.1 du règlement intérieur des CTC. C'est donc une disposition qui a été élaborée spécifiquement pour porter sur les déclarations de témoins. D'aucuns pourraient dire qu'est-ce qu'une déclaration de témoins Je pense que mes confrères de la partie adverse font valoir qu'il y a une série de documents qui devraient être considérés comme des déclarations de témoins au motif que ces documents consignent des déclarations qui sont faites par des individus et que, partant, ces documents appartenaient à la même catégorie et étaient de la même nature que les déclarations de témoins. Selon nous, cette approche est erronée. La définition, la définition, la définition du concept de déclaration de témoins a elle-même fait l'objet de plusieurs décisions au niveau international. Et l'on peut dire qu'il n'existe point de définition unique. Une chose cependant est claire, c'est qu'une déclaration de témoin, ce n'est pas un document contenant le nom d'une personne particulière. Je vais vous citer quelques exemples. Dans l'affaire, le procureur contre Blaskic, BLASKIC, une décision datée du 26 septembre 2000, la Chambre d'appel du TPI grec a dit comme suit concernant la signification de l'expression déclaration de témoin. Je vous renvoie au paragraphe 15. Je cite l'utilisation, la signification habituelle d'une déclaration de témoin dans un procès, c'est le récit que fait une personne de la connaissance qu'elle a d'un crime et qui est consigné selon les procédures appropriées au cours de l'instruction sur les crimes. Fin de citation. Autrement dit, une déclaration de témoin dans la jurisprudence internationale est une notion qui se limite aux déclarations recueillies dans le cadre de l'instruction sur un crime. Ce sont ces déclarations-là qui font l'objet du critère relatif aux actes et aux comportements et aucun autre type de documents écrits comme des ouvrages ou des rapports, par exemple. Ce raisonnement est suivi de manière générale par le TPI-IR. Il y a une décision du 18 septembre 2001 rendue au TPI-IR dans l'affaire le co-procureur contre Mirama Mushuko. Toutes mes excuses si j'écorche ce nom. C'est une décision rendue le 18 septembre 2001. Il s'agit de paragraphe 9. La Chambre de première instance examinait la signification de l'expression « déclaration de témoin ». Et elle a dit que les déclarations faites pendant la procédure par les témoins de l'accusation qui devraient déposer au procès, quelle que soit l'origine de cette procédure, c'est ça une déclaration de témoin. Autrement dit, la règle qui empêche que soient admises des déclarations écrites portant sur les actes et le comportement des accusés concerne uniquement les déclarations de témoins qui ont été recueillies aux fins de poursuites judiciaires.
dans un contexte officiel. Now, of course, Your Honours, there are numerous Bien entendu, secondary materials il y a beaucoup de documents secondaires qui portent sur les actes et le comportement des accusés, y compris des documents de l'époque du Kampuchea démocratique, y compris des articles de la presse internationale, y compris des ouvrages, des rapports analytiques et un grand nombre d'autres documents. Nous disons que même si ces documents portent sur les actes et le comportement d'un accusé, il est parfaitement acceptable qu'ils soient admis sans que l'on doive faire citer à comparaître l'auteur de chacun des documents. Comme nous l'avons déjà dit dans nos écritures, la situation est différente concernant les déclarations de témoins. Pourquoi est-ce que nous disons cela Tout simplement parce que les livres et rapports analytiques to ask your honors to accept what's written in them as proof beyond a reasonable doubt of those facts. We're putting them in. 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 We're putting a trier of fact with a trial Lorsque chamber comprised of professional judges, des professionnels, it is perfectly acceptable to admit il est tout à fait acceptable que soit admis ces documents secondaires, car les juges sont parfaitement à même de trier and, and toutes ces pièces et de leur accorder le poids qui um, leur and, revient. And I would just note in passing that Soit dit en passant, my friend, uh, counsel for Ying Sari, L'avocat de Yang Sari a mentionné hier le fait que ce type de document, et je pense qu'il pensait des rapports et des articles de presse peut-être, il a dit que lorsque certains documents se semblent se corroborer et confirmer les mêmes faits, il a dit qu'alors... Il y avait des indices de fiabilité suffisants. Et nous rejoignons cette position. C'est l'argument que nous avançons depuis le début, à savoir que ces documents doivent être considérés dans leur ensemble pour voir la mesure dans laquelle ils se recoupent et corroborent des témoignages. Et donc, accepter ces documents ne peut nuire à qui que ce soit, car les juges sont parfaitement à même de leur accorder le traitement qui s'impose. Je vais revenir à la question des livres brièvement, car ceci concerne une des annexes dont je m'occupe, mais je laisse la question de côté pour l'instant. Je souhaiterais brièvement revenir en passant sur une question, à savoir le fait de citer à comparaître des témoins susceptibles d'authentifier les documents. Les juges, au paragraphe 7 de leur décision E162, ont dit qu'il n'y avait pas d'exigence de faire citer à comparaître des documents connaissant, pardon, des témoins connaissant les documents pour les authentifier. Il y a aussi les chambres ont dit que la connaissance de la filière de conservation pouvait aider à accorder un certain poids aux documents. Quant à la question des témoins susceptibles de venir déposer concernant l'origine et les circonstances dans lesquelles les documents ont été élaborés, bien entendu, le segment suivant du procès sera l'occasion d'entendre un grand nombre de témoins qui ont été cités à comparaître et qui vont, bien entendu, apporter précisément ce type d'informations. Et j'ai ici sous les yeux une liste. Nous avons tout d'abord Duc, bien sûr, Ensuite, il y a des témoins qui vont déposer sur les communications et ensuite des témoins qui vont venir parler du ministère des Affaires étrangères, du commerce, de la propagande, de l'éducation politique, ainsi que des témoins qui vont venir parler des structures administratives. Tous ces témoins vont nous aider à mieux comprendre les documents qui sont déposés devant la Chambre. 
briefly with the issue of confession simply because it's, uh, it has arisen a number of times in connection with, with different um, with different annexes and, and, and en what I'm referring to here is, is the, uh, the, the prohibition in, in the Je convention against torture de la sur uh, in la article torture, 15 et notamment um, 15 qui and interdit I think our friend counsel for Nunchia made reference to the uh, of the trial chamber in case one. Uh, and dans le one. Those rulings are of course on the record. Bien entendu, uh, what I wanted to indicate is that what was read yesterday is not a full uh, account, if you like, of, of that particular issue uh, as it came question. up before the trial chamber. Your Honour has made a, uh, a general uh, ruling uh, which was read, but then following that uh, general ruling, the prosecution uh, essentially submitted that, that our understanding was that um, a, a comprehensive decision on the issue of, of the CAT prohibition would, would only be made um, if and, if and when a party seeks to rely on si the content of the confession, uh, and it would only then, the issue would only then be ventilated in full. Um, we indicated that, of course, it's a very complex issue, uh, and that la we submitted en ligne de that it, it needed to be dealt with comprehensively if, if, if rulings on, on principle were to be made. Um, and it, it was, I believe, Judge Cartwright who then indicated Cartwright that qui a dit the chamber reserved to the parties the right to make further submissions. Um, our, in terms of the, the, the procedure, our uh, basic proposal is that the way to proceed is, is, is by suivante, dealing with documents as and if they are uh, des raised in court and, and ruling on, on the appropriate uses. You will et la Chambre devrait se prononcer au fur et à mesure sur l'utilisation de ces pièces. Un de mes confrères va revenir là-dessus de façon bien plus approfondie concernant l'utilisation acceptable de ces pièces. Il y a bien sûr des cas où ces pièces peuvent être utilisées, mais il n'existe pas de critères juridiques that, that states that torture tainted evidence is excluded. There is a two-pronged test that must be applied. First, a statement has to be shown a to have been obtained under torture. And secondly, et the use of that statement uh, or confession ou de must itself be prohibited. Unless those two conditions are fulfilled, Tant que ces there is deux absolutely no remplis, prohibition on admitting confessions. And of course, there are numerous, et il y a bien numerous entendu, uh, proper, entirely proper and legitimate use of that material, tout à fait légitime um, ce genre which my de colleagues document. will expand et mes on vont uh, in greater detail. Moving on to um, another point uh, viens which has to do with new documents. Ah, un autre I think uh, Council for Kyusan Pan uh, submitted Kyo that um, their understanding was that new documents uh, identified in les nouveaux documents Annex 21 à of the co-prosecutor's co co list are not uh, the subject of these, ne of these pas hearings. Des um, I believe they're, in, they're, they're incorrect à mon avis, this. Cela est inexact. Um, these are not new documents submitted de nouveaux documents after qui the opening été of the trial. Après du They're procès. simply documents Ce sont that we submitted uh, back in April 2011 en avril 2011 uh, in response to your honours uh, scheduling orders. Those, those documents are documents which, par les juges. at that Ce sont time, des qui, à were not on the case file, pas au um, and they were proposed by us. They very much uh, included in these proceedings. Ces ont leur place uh, as counsel indicated, they are scattered throughout the 20 annexes. Ils sont and they're, of course, dans les 20 also annexes, comme separately identified la in Annex la 21. Et uh, ils sont Annex 21 is simply a, 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 a listing for convenience of all documents that were, that were de toutes les pièces proposed as new at that time. Proposées I make this point because uh, si je dis ceci, the label new no longer applies to these documents. Nouveau, uh, it is only once, mise, once a trial commences with the initial hearing, uh, it is after that initial, point in time 
la règle 87 4 fixe certaines restrictions quant à l'admission de nouvelles pièces. Et ceci s'applique après l'ouverture du procès. Selon nous, tous les documents identifiés comme nouveaux documents dans notre liste et dans notre liste pour la première phase, à notre avis, ces documents ne sont pas visés par la règle en question puisque ces documents avaient été déposés devant la Chambre et devant les partis. Il y a un certain temps, ils ont donc bel et bien leur place en l'espèce et nous prions la Chambre de considérer que ces documents ont été déclarés recevables au même titre que les autres documents figurant dans les annexes. J'en viens à un autre point. Il s'agit des allégations de partialité dans le chef du DCCAM. Cet argument a été avancé à de nombreuses reprises ces derniers mois. Mais cette fois-ci, seule l'équipe de Kyosampan a avancé de telles allégations. L'équipe de défense de Nguyen semble avoir abandonné cet argument qui nous semble vain. Je n'ai pas l'intention de m'étendre longuement là-dessus. De toute évidence, la position du DCCAM, le mandat de DCCAM, sa détermination à faire en sorte que des comptes soient rendus, sa détermination de déclarer l'histoire, tout ceci est dénué de pertinence pour apprécier les pièces venant du DCCAM. L'instruction n'a pas été menée par le DCCAM, mais par des organes indépendants et impartiaux. Chacun se souvient, je pense, de la déposition de Yu Chang. Il a dit que les portes du DCCAM étaient ouvertes à toutes les parties. En fait, le DCCAM a été contacté par pratiquement tous les participants au procès, à un moment ou à un autre afin d'obtenir les documents. Chacun peut consulter les archives du DCCAM. De surcroît, cette position a été entérinée par les co-juges d'instruction dans le cadre de deux documents que je vais mentionner brièvement. Il s'agit du document 110-Roman 2, a 110 bar chiffre romain 2 et D 164 bar 2. Il ressort clairement de ces documents, et en particulier du deuxième, qu'il est entièrement loisible aux parties de visiter une bibliothèque publique, de consulter une source publique et de proposer quelques documents que ce soit qui seraient considérés par la partie en question comme susceptibles de contribuer à la manifestation de la vérité. Aucune des parties n'ont été exclues du centre. Personne ne s'est vu interdit l'accès au centre ni de rechercher les documents. From consulting any toutes les parties ont pu consulter source. toutes And les so sources publiques. We say that it is not appropriate Nous disons donc for the defense que la défense ne saurait à ce stade and allege that because faire volte-face uh, et prétendre DCCAM que le DCCAM est intéressé par l'histoire et par crimes, la responsabilité for reason, pour les crimes DCCAM commis, la défense ne saurait dès lors dire that que les documents venant du DCK ne sont pas fiables. Ce type d'argument ne saurait prospérer. I will now move on to deal uh, with three uh, annexes, and I will do so briefly uh, because the defense submissions or objections were not particularly extensive on these on these particular annexes. And firstly, Your Honours, Annex 7, which contains commerce regulations. Um, on this annex, uh, I, I recall that uh, the Nu and Chia team accepted, in fact, encouraged their admission. Uh, 
I believe the Yingsari team même encouragé left it to the trial déposer. chambers discretion de de uh, as to whether or not these documents should be admitted. Si and it was really only Qusan Pan team that objected uh, to these documents being admitted. Uh, they did so on uh, a number of grounds. Les One of them was de cette uh, the involvement of DC CAM, which uh, we've just dealt with. Un des était um, la participation another de DCCAM, dont je complaint viens about these documents une autre was the sur ces uh, était was the issue of, uh, of of chain of custody. Une question and relative à la chaîne de conservation. Reference to the annotations which appear on, on these documents. Aux annotations qui figurent sur ce document, ces documents. Now, I, I will just recall again that your honours have ruled that evidence as to chain of custody is not a condition precedent que la for the admission of materials. All that needs to be shown is that they are prima facie reliable and authentic. Pour, uh, uh, your honours, in our submission, there is absolutely no doubt that these, are, these documents are both reliable and authentic. Sont authentic. Uh, and we say so because um, there is extensive evidence on the case file Ce qui nous as to the provenance and origin of these documents. Uh, Kusan Pan's counsel referred to the uh, statements of witness TC W583, who was actually shown a number of these documents uh, 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 during the judicial investigation le cadre de was able to discuss them. He is on your honor's trial list and he will be uh, available si we believe de la to chambre, further expand on the circumstances in which these documents de were created and just what they mean. Um, I, I wanted to use this annex to also illustrate the point we were making earlier about the tôt, attempts of the co-investigating judges to, um, par les to obtain pour uh, originals des documents and Mr. President, if I have your permission, Et avec votre permission um, I would like to uh, briefly display um, uh, two or three documents that record, um, that relate to the commerce records and to the way in which they were, qui portent sur they ces were collected. Au commerce et qui comment ces so if I have, ont if été I have uh, permission, I will, I will proceed. Avec la permission de la Chambre, je présenterai ces documents à l'écran. Le Président, yes, you may proceed. Oui, allez-y. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, if we could show on the screen document Merci. D161, si on D161, le document D161, D161 uh, we made reference to this a little bit earlier. And Your Honor, D161 D is a rogatory letter uh, issued by the co-investigating judges. Um, I, I do apologize for showing the English version regrette, here. Uh, uh, it's just de vous en la a little bit easier for me to follow what's on the screen. Um, um, if we can scroll down to the next, si to the second page, page of this document, and document. what we have done, Your Honours, is ici, we have redacted the names of the investigators uh, for obvious reasons. For des um, but of course, the full uh, document is available in the case file. Um, the highlighted Mais section describes the mission six, enfin, which the co-investigating judges uh, were entrusting the vision, investigators with. And it states uh, they are to enter into contact with persons responsible for the National Archive um, in order to request their cooperation uh, for consultation and copying of documents, um, audiovisual archives, etc. At the, in the second paragraph, it says they are to consult such materials and or request the provision of physical or electronic copies. Now, I would now like to move on to D161-1, that is D161-1. <coughs> This is to illustrate uh, my submissions earlier uh, as to how attempts uh, or, or work was, was done by the co-investigating judges in their office to um, obtain 
original documents or at least to consult original documents wherever Dans lequel j'explique que les enquêteurs And you see here it, uh, on, on the first page in a highlighted oui, passage uh, the investigators report that on two dates oui. in 2009 they attended the National Archives 2009, of Cambodia and proceeded to consult and make color scans of the original documents located within the archives. Um, 51 of those documents were scanned in their entirety. And when you scroll to the next page, it indicates that the annexes to this document um, are color scans of the actual originals that are found at the archives. Um, on the point, I, I, I discuss, I'm discussing these documents now because, of course, the, the the records collected at the National Archives are, by and large, the commerce records. So it is the Annex 7 material that is being referred to in these laboratory uh, letters and reports. Um, as to the origin of how these documents came to be uh, at the National Archive, um, Yu Chang was able to provide some information in his statement D-150. D-150 where he indicates um, that the, uh, the, the, these particular documents were deposited at the archives dans by positions, members donc, of the Renaxé front. Le front Renaxé qui déposé ces documents aux archives nationales. Just while we're on, on, on Annex 7, um, Autre point, uh, even though this point has not been addressed in great detail, I think it, it might just be useful si if, I, if I point out also um, cet aspect, the relevance of these documents. There are 169 documents in Annex 7. La pertinence de ces documents. And Annex 7 comporte 169 on documents. our review, it appears that 26 of them are reports to on Brother Hem, who of course is documents sont des rapports Mr. Q. Sampan. In addition, to these 26 reports, en su de ces 26 rapports, approximately 98 documents, 98 documents uh, which are Ministry of Commerce documents, contain des, annotations des documents that refer to Brother Hem. They're usually annotations, annotations that show that documents were sent for approval. Um, to pour uh, Mr. Q. Sampan. Uh, these documents are, of course, ces relevant bien um, for a number of uh, reasons, pour, uh, um, including the fact that they evidence um, the functioning of the regime, and they also uh, evidence Mr. Q. Sampan's authority with respect to the Ministry of Commerce and these other the matters that are uh, du commerce, <coughs> included in this, et ces questions, in this first, first trial. Sont tout à fait dans le cadre du premier procès. And I might um, I might at this stage also display another document. Um, aussi and this is D le document suivant D dot What we will do is we'll display this is another annex uh, annex seven document. We'll display it annex um, in, la liste in Khmer à à 7. initially, um, just to show the documents uh, format in, in the original language. If, if we could show that document now, D366 slash 7 dot 1 dot 843. And, Your Honours, um, this document appears to be a ledger which records the... Um, semblerait que ce soit donc un registre the uh, supplies or storage of paddy and rice for the month of March of 1977 um, indicates large amounts of produce being centralized in Phnom Penh and that produce uh, having uh, originating rather from uh, the southwest zone, the west zone, the east west the northwest the non zone nord <coughs> and rather and the northwest we might just show that document in english also si um, nous pouvons montrer la version anglaise it, it may de be ce of, document. of interest to the to those who are unable to read khmer cela um, pourra intéresser ceux qui ne parviennent pas à lire la langue this document is is again uh, it, it bears an annotation 
indicating that it was sent to, uh, to Mr. Kisan Pham, to Brother Hem. Um, but it is also relevant, and you can see these uh, the relevant passages are marked in red on the screen in the top uh, left-hand corner, uh, shows that it was sent to Brother Hem. Um, it, it shows in our submission, among other things, um, the fact that the, the, the central government was very much in charge of um, the, the collection and, and distribution of, uh, of this type of produce. Um, the, the issue of annotations was also uh, raised, and I've indicated that a number of these documents contain Les annotations, I believe 98. Um, on that issue, Ron, it is our submission that notre position, these annotations um, sur la question la suivante, basically are not relevant for the purposes ces of admissibility. Ne sont pas sur le sujet um, de la they, are, des documents. they appear to be annotations ces of Van Rith, être des the, de Van Rith. Democratic Cambodia Minister of Commerce, um, I won't say more on that. It will be the subject of um, <coughs> testimonies before your honours. Other than to say, uh, uh, these, these, these are simple, uh, apparently administrative annotations. Um, on their face, they appear to be uh, uh, to have been made in the course of business of the Ministry of, of Commerce. I see no, no way in which if the presence of those annotations uh, detracts in any way from, from the admissibility of the documents, particularly when you consider that what you have before you is essentially original, or scans of the original. Dealing with um, Annex 15, briefly, and this, of course, is the annex that contains a number of maps and photographs, sur laquelle figurent des photographies et cartes. And we would note that the vast majority of these documents weren't actually objected to. Um, I, I, we kept notes over the last two days, and it appears that only a small number were specifically <coughs> identified by Council. Of course, ample time was given. Uh, to them, uh, they évident, all completed their submissions uh, in less than the time that was allocated. Um, no one here said that these the documents uh, had varied relevance. Uh, the Yingsari team uh, commented on <coughs> photographs, uh, stating that, or submitting that if they are purported to be fair and accurate representations of matters Et as they stood in 1975 si uh, or, or images as they, as they were in 1975, then I believe the situation the was the had to be called to testify um, as to those uh, des images. Uh, we say that that submission uh, is, is simply um, not legally correct. There's no Le such requirement. Um, there is a large number of photographs on the case file. Pour que cela <coughs> Many of them were taken after the 1979 period. Your Honours are perfectly capable of looking at them. Um, juges sont and tout uh, à fait à même obviously, les in light of also witness testimonies, um, giving them any weight that you consider appropriate. I should say that where there are pictures of buildings in Phnom Penh, uh, by and large, they're not intended to be uh, representative of buildings as they were in 1975 um, or 1979. These, uh, many of these pictures were taken by uh, investigators uh, in the presence of witnesses. They were simply taken in order to identify <coughs> relevant sites and witnesses. Um, uh, will be able to further describe uh, et les those sites as they were at the, at the relevant times. Et leur état um, à qui nous we, we have limited time, so I, I, I don't necessarily propose to go through de temps, uh, each. <coughs> I think there were six documents that were raised by other council. Um, as to document uh, D108 slash 39 slash 8, 
if, if we could show that si document on the screen briefly, simply because I think it's, it's been referred to by um, a number of council. D108-39-8. And uh, my learned friend, counsel for Ying Sari, made extensive submissions on this document. Mon confrère de l'équipe de défense de Ying Sari a longuement parlé de ce document. Yes, uh, you may proceed. Le président, allez-y. Thank you, thank you, Mr. President. Um, le procureur. That document should be coming up on the screen. Le uh, briefly, devrait à my un peu. learned friend made um, <coughs> detailed submissions <coughs> on the. Uh, Fait de longues observations the program that produced this document, it is entitled Genocide Sites in Cambodia. Uh, Your Honours will recall that uh, my friend uh, made Cambodia. submissions uh, in relation in to the use of the word genocide. Et, uh, vous vous que um, and also uh, sur le terme to the um, methodology, et aussi parlé de <coughs> la methodology adopted um, in creating these maps. Uh, these are maps uh, according to the introduction. De ces cartes. Selon introduction <coughs> they're simply maps documents, simplement that are intended de cartes to uh, indicate the uh, geographic location of, of suspected uh, crime sites. They're not, they're not ultimately conclusive, obviously. They're not, de, uh, we're not putting them forward as, as evidence et nous ne um, pas ces cartes comme des beyond a reasonable doubt of these sites, but they are, de, we, we submit, contextually relevant. Sites. Um, nous sommes d'avis qu'ils sont pertinents the, dans le contexte. The introduction of this document explains how these, uh, these sites were identified. Um, de ce document. And there's a number of sources of information, including witness interviews, uh, par, uh, des local informants, des témoins, des use of democratic Kampuchea's own documents, l'utilisation de documents uh, and, and various de reports. So this is a, uh, an, an analytical sources. document that in our submission donc um, rapport analytique does have the basic indicia of reliability. Les uh, whether or not your honors ultimately agree with, its, uh, with, with the mapping or with the location si. of sites, uh, that is a matter for your honors. It is, it is a matter to be decided si following sont uh, the trial avec, uh, and, and following the, et, uh, all of the evidence that, 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 that will be put before you. Et ce, dans um, le we have no objection uh, if your honors consider it um, appropriate to call the, the authors. Uh, we wouldn't object to them pas coming to testify la cite à um, if there is a defense's request. Pour à la défense, à la de la and, and here is that document now it appears Donc on the voilà screen le document tel qu'il apparaît à l'écran uh, and, and, and you can see um, that it simply indicates various uh, locations where there might be um, que cette carte présente différents endroits où various locations that may, may contain crime sites that is mass burial sites comme um, des sites de crime ou des sites de fausses communes these types of documents we submit are relevant again b because of the requirement to prove the widespread and systematic attack on the territory of Cambodia as a whole. They are relevant also because of the need to prove the existence of a, of a joint criminal enterprise to search for uh, and kill enemies throughout the country. And the same applies to uh, some of the other documents that were, that were uh, challenged, um, specifically uh, documents D108 slash 19 slash 1 slash 5 bar un bar cinq, and D108 slash 39 slash 10. Bar dix. Uh, again, these, these documents um, are maps of alleged uh, de killing fields, and we said that they are, they are relevant. Alléguées. Et and, nous and they, they do pertinent. have prima facie reliability that is sufficient for them to be admitted before your honours. Moving on to um, Annex 19. Passer à la Nex 19. And this Annex, of course, uh, contains books. Il I made submissions earlier as ouvrages. to the uh, admissibility of this, of this type of material and the non-applicability of the acts and conduct uh, on the uh, acts and conduct test to this material. De um, et de, du I believe non it was um, de, du uh, 
agissements et comportements des accusés pour ces documents. La défense de Yassari a présenté des arguments suivants. Si l'on est pour juger recevable des ouvrages, il faut citer à comparaître leurs auteurs. Je vous ai dit qu'il ne s'agit pas là de la bonne position juridique. Who authored several of these books? Our submission is that ultimately, hearing the authors is not a prerequisite to admission because the documents, the books, are being submitted as contextual and corroborative evidence. These ouvrages sont déposés en tant que documents de contexte qui servent à corroborer. They are not, in in most cases, they are not primary evidence. Those elements of proof, they are not considered as primary evidence. Principaux um, de politique ou and of course, ou your honors, when you look at the defence lists for uh, where they've proposed materials to be put before your honors, les listes there are de documents numerous, proposés par la défense, uh, numerous books that have been uh, that have been proposed, and so I simply note that in passing, uh, because le dire en passant, uh, obviously all parties see the relevance of books. As material that can assist in contextualizing some of the evidence, some of the direct evidence that is being put before you, and the relevant, the relevant list for Yang Sari is 109/6.2. This contains a number of books which are supposed to be put before your honours. The same applies to Kusan Pan, and you can find a number of books and academic papers listed in E9/29.2. Which was the original list from April 2011, as well as the first phase list, which is E109/1.1. There is another list which um, we, we believe, Your Honours, um, should, should take into account when considering defence objections, and this is a list submitted by Yin Sari in April uh, as part of the initial uh, <coughs> list of evidence. And this is E9 slash 25.2. Now, this is quite a quite a long document, document some 100 pages, long, pages. Uh, it contains over a thousand uh, documents that are proposed, new entrées, documents that are proposed to be put before your honours, and it includes the full shopping list of documents that we've been discussing uh, these last two days, from newspapers to books and academic papers to analytical presse, reports, reports foreign government materials, including CIA and the like, and of course, uh, contemporaneous democratic Capuchia documents. Aussi les we haven't objected to any of this material. Pas uh, uh, we feel uh, it is important that the defense uh, wish to put these documents before your honors, put them to witnesses, uh, and make submissions on them. Uh, we, we will obviously not object. We, we consider it important for them to be able uh, to put their case. But we do also make the submission that, uh, or, or make the observation rather, that when Yang Sari submitted this rather lengthy uh, list of documents, he was not proposing at the same time to call their authors. Uh, and the reason, of course, that wasn't done is obvious. We, this trial would never complete if we were to call every author of every book and every analytical report that is proposed to be put into evidence. Um, I will close uh, by uh, just dealing with one document which uh, I believe most, if not all, of my learned friends made reference to. This is D2-15. Dash 15. It is an analytical report prepared by Mr. Craig Etchison. Mr. Etchison, of course, testified before Your Honours in the first trial. Your Honours considered his expertise sufficient to bring him in to testify on matters of structure of democratic Kampuchea. Of course, we support the defences. 
uh, nous request in this regard, uh, in part because this is la défense, uh, this gentleman is one of uh, the leading experts uh, partie, car il on, on these issues. Cette in the world. Dire, he has been found reliable by your honors already, uh, as my, my uh, learned friend for Ying Sari indicated. He is available et comme uh, dit, within 100 meters of us, and uh, we have also proposed him as a witness. Sari, so we see no particular reason to object. Nous. This, nous this testimony is, is, can be obtained without undue delay, uh, and we're happy for, uh, for the defense's request uh, to, be, les les brefs, to be accepted. Um, Your Honours, that concludes my, uh, my submission. Um, voilà um, I'm looking at the time. Volume. At this point, I would, uh, I would hand Donc, over to my colleagues charge, uh, who will deal with Annexes 14, qui 20, des and 17. 14, 20 um, et but perhaps your honours may wish to take a break at this stage. Mais peut-être uh, le moment est-il opportun de prendre la pause. President, thank you. Le Président. The time is now appropriate for a 15-minute break. Le we will resume at 10 to 3. Minutes, the court donc. is adjourned. Ah. So I'm going to